Hi, it's Brendan here, and I've been talking recently about the commonly asked questions on coach development. So this is my coach development series. And today's question I'm going to answer is quite a, quite a contentious one. Not in terms of, for me personally, but you see quite a lot of angles being taken and opinions on, on the net and, and in different groups. And the question is, why pay for a mentor? Well, let's, let's talk about that one step at a time. Why a mentor to start with? Okay, so why, why should you get a mentor? Well, if you've got any desire to improve yourself as a coach, as a practitioner, it's probably good practice to associate yourself with good people. I think that you'd agree with me that there, right? But I think if you've got any desire to rapidly accelerate your career and rapidly get to where you want to go, be it into pro sport, be it in business, be it in any field really, you can have peers that are doing good things that inspire you, but more powerful than that is the ability to tap into somebody who has walked that path or is walking that path, has done what you want to do and achieved what you want to achieve, or maybe more, or maybe just somebody who at this moment in time can take you to from here to here, just that little bit. And sometimes you need a mentor for very specific things. And I can tell you per personally firsthand, the value of that is critical to where I've managed to get to, having been a full-time SC coach you know, for, for over 10 years, to have a successful business career as well and you know be able to live the lifestyle that I want to live, I would not have been able to do that as quickly had I not invested a lot of time and money in expertise from people who have guided me in that way. So on, a, on the coach development side for me, you know, very much people like Vern Gambetta, Kelvin Giles, Dan Baker, and even close to home, people like Duncan French and, and my friends and colleagues as well. But I've gone out there and I've paid for expertise to improve my coach development. On the business side, I've had, I've had business consultants and, and coaches helping me for years. People to help me to understand marketing and help me to understand how to structure a business, how to do branding and, and everything like that that goes with it. And I paid thousands of pounds out and I still do to this day because it gets me to where I want to go quicker than I would get there on my own. Okay. Now, some of those mentors I only speak to or work with for, say, a month, two months. Some of them are still my mentors now after many, many years. And one thing I would say throughout that is that there should be no issue with paying for expertise. And so that, that brings us on to paying for a mentor. Now, some people think about mentorships or a mentor as somebody who holistically just helps you and guides you. And, and that's, that's kind of what a mentor is. But if you want to get somewhere fast, you need to go to the best people. You need to shortcut your journey. And those best people are the busiest people. They're the hardest people to get hold of. So they're not going to be able to spend their time on you unless you pay them some money. Because that's, that's unfair to demand their time. And it's just not going to happen. If you want structure, if you want support, if you want that person to invest in you, there's got, it's got to be a win-win. Business and development is about a win-win. What's in it for you if, you if you help me and vice versa? So that person who you're looking at getting as your mentor has got to be invested in you. So a financial transaction is very often the best way to do that, to get into these busy people's lives, to actually solidify and structure what you're doing with that person. And... That is where you've got to really decide, are you playing a big game or are you just playing? Because if, you, if you're going for this, if you're thinking big, then it should not bother you at all, the fact that you're going to invest there. And, and we get that all the time in our mentorship. People, it changes lives being on this process. And some people, when they talk to us on the phone, they, they have to really push to get that money and get that investment. But once they've got it, it's a life-changing experience. And... That's a really powerful thing. So I think I'll leave you with a question, which is, are you playing or are you playing big? Because if you, go, if you want to go big, 
you've got to make it happen. You've got to shortcut things, you've got to accelerate your career. You've got to make it happen and take control. That's me for today. I'll speak to you again.